Hey everyone, my name is Steve Abrams and I am a backend engineer uh, on the package team at GitLab. And today I'm gonna to show you how you can use a variety of the different features uh, for GitLab packages in order to create a single project that holds all of your packages um, for a specific given use. So let's go ahead and get started here. All right, so today we're going to take a package from NPM, Maven, and Conan and push them all up to one uh, GitLab project. So different reasons you might be doing this is uh, you just want one place to hold all of your packages. Um, so maybe you just have a reason like you want all of your NPM packages in one place or all of your private packages in one place, or maybe you just want everything, um, NPM, Maven, and Conan, um, but for a given department or section of your organization to all kind of live in one one place. Um, this demonstration should give you an idea of how you can do something like that. So we're going to start out with Maven. So um, first let's go ahead and create a new project actually <clears throat> and this project is going to be our registry. So create a new project on GitLab and I'll call it my package registry. And so here you want to decide whether or not the project is private or public. And so be sure that you're aware that uh, any packages that live within this project will also share that visibility. So if you make this project public, like I'm going to do for this demonstration, all of the packages that live in that project will also be public. Um, so you will want to do whatever's right for your situation. <clears throat> And as I mentioned before, this is going to be a project that is meant for holding packages. So we're not actually going to push up a code uh, repository to this project. Um, a project or a package does need to be associated with a project to live on GitLab, but the project doesn't have to contain a code repo or any other content whatsoever. And so this demonstration is going to kind of show how you can utilize just the package feature if you wanted to. So if we take a look at our current package section, we can see there's no packages yet. So let's start out with Maven. And so uh, I've already got some uh, projects ready to go for Maven, Kunin, and NPM. Um, I'm not gonna go into how to create new packages in each one of them. I'm going to show if you have one ready to go, how you can push them all to the same place. So with Maven, <clears throat> there's a few steps that we need to be able to publish packages. So the first step is we need to enable the registry. Um, as you saw, my registry was already enabled. If you didn't see this tab for packages, then you will need to enable it, um, which you can do by just going to your settings and permissions. And once we have that, we need to authenticate um, to the registry. And so we can do this with a personal access token. And so, I'm going to just copy this content here that will go into a settings.xml file. And let's go ahead and move over to the Maven practice project that I've got here. Very simple, basic um, project. It's already got a palm.xl and we're going to create that settings.xml and paste it in here. And it looks like the only thing we need here is a personal access token. And just to make a, a point here is you don't have to use this specific type of authentication uh, for this to work. Um, you can see that there's ways to do it with CI job tokens as well. And so depending on your use case, if you're gonna be using CI to create these packages or if you're gonna do them manually like I'm doing here, you might choose different routes for each of these different um, package managers. So let's go ahead and create a personal access token you can do that by going to your user settings and to your access tokens. And for package registry, we want to create a scope of API or token with the scope of API. I'm just going to call this package registry test token. So I remember to revoke it later. Here we go. Copy that and place that back in our code here. Cool. So the second step we need to take care of in order to publish a Maven repository is configuring the project to use the correct remote pretty much. 
So we need to point this project to the GitLab registry. We're going to do this at the project level. We're pushing it um, and pulling it from a given project. So we'll copy this block and this goes into our POM XML. And it looks like this section, we need a few things, or we just need one thing at the project ID um, in three different places. And you can see we've got our um, two distribution repositories, the snapshot and then the regular repository, um, which are the same in this case. And then the actual um, sort of registry repository, I guess you could call it. And so this is when you're pulling packages for this um, project, it would, it would pull from this URL which isn't necessary for what we're doing right now with the uploads, but I'm just putting it in there for sake of following the documentation. So the project ID, we can grab that from the um, main project overview page of our package registry project. And here it is. All right, and then once we have that, we wanna make sure that this, um, repository ID matches the ID that's in our settings file. And it does. And we're going to publish this package, which is just my Maven package and it's version 1.0 snapshot. So once we have all of that, we can go back to our terminal and we can do a Maven deploy using that settings.xml file. All right, and it looks like it is uploading. And we have a success. So now we can go back to our project. And of course the project content doesn't change because we didn't do anything there. We wanna look at our package list. And here it is. So it's my Maven package. And we can go in there and see all of our files. All right, next up, let's take a look at NPM. So we have an NPM project here that we would like to publish a portion of. So this project, we're kind of going with the idea that maybe we have this existing project that has a package that's published elsewhere, but we've gotten to the point where we have a subcomponent, this alert component, and we wanna publish it as its own package um, to GitLab separately. So it has its own package JSON, and it will have its own configuration. So let's take a look at what we need to do here. So let's go back to the package registry docs um, and check out NPM. So with NPM, <clears throat> it's the same idea. We, we've already enabled the package, or the, yeah, the package registry, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, <clears throat> when naming your package, you do need to scope NPM packages to live in the namespace of your organization or your personal um, uh, namespace. So for the example of my project, mine is in my personal namespace on GitLab, which is S. Abrams. Yours might be your company's top level group or your own personal namespace. And then um, from there, we can add whatever package name we want as our um, package, so I'm making my fancy alert component. Um, we need to authenticate against the NPM registry, and so this can also be done using OAuth tokens or personal access tokens or the CI job tokens as well. So I'm going to create an NPM RC file. This kind of parallels what we saw in uh, the settings.xml file for um, Maven. And I'm going to put that in my subcomponent folder here. All right, and so this needs a few things. First, we wanna set our registry to our scope. And so this first section is pointing to say, this is the registry we're using. The second section is going to say, when we download packages, um, we need an auth token. And then when we upload packages for this last section, we are looking at you know, which specific project are we uploading it to. So we need a project ID here, and then we need our token. So I'm going to grab our token directly. Uh, it's the same personal access token. 
Um, you can use a different one depending on what you're doing. And then the same project ID as well. And so this is kind of what is allowing us to publish to the same project is we're using the same project ID when we set the remote in NPM to publish this package, just like how when we used um, Maven in the pom.xml, we used that remote in order to uh, publish Maven to that same project. All right, so once we have that, um, let's go back and check the docs to see what else we need. Um, we can authenticate in other ways. And then for uploading packages, we need to specify our publish config in the package.json file. So let's just copy that over and add that to our package.json. And we'll make sure that we use the same scope and we need our project ID in here as well. All right, and so we're going to publish our package version 0.0.1. And I think that is everything we need. We will soon find out. And so um, this was a subcomponent, so I'm gonna go into that subcomponents folder, which is um, where the uh, npm rc file and package json file lives. And then from in here, I can say npm publish. And there we go. Looks like it was successful. And we can check back with our registry here. And there we have it. All right, so one, two down, one to go. Uh, next up, we're gonna take a look at Conan. And so I have a Conan project here. We can take a look at what that looks like. Uh, it's basic hello world type um, C++ project. Um, I've already generated the Conan file and created the project. Um, so from here, once we have the package, we're going to see how we can push it to that same project. Uh, Conan is a little different. Um, right now it is in a sort of um, minimal um, uh, availability. So the way that you name the Conan uh, package will determine what project it belongs to. Um, and you have to have permission to access that project, of course. So uh, if we look at this naming conventions in the docs here, and so we see that recipe user names must be the um, plus separated project path. So because Conan um, has a use for the slashes, we can't use the um, project name uh, as it is, so we, we, we separate it by pluses. So if you have a, a project um, like foo bar baz buzz, then it would be separated with pluses instead of the um, slashes. So um, let's go ahead and create uh, a package. And so this works a little bit differently because uh, Conan doesn't necessarily need all of the configuration files um, that we had for Maven and NPM. Um, there are ways to do this using configuration files or commands to enter them into your own Conan configuration. Um, so feel free to do that. Uh, I'm going to kind of take the simplistic route and just create a new package here. So you can do Conan create. And so usually you would, you would do your user, user and channel here. So for our user, we want to use S. Abrams and then um, the positive or the plus sign separated my, uh, it was my package registry, got it. All right. And we'll just call this channel beta. So we've created a package with the recipe of hello version 0.1. And then here's our username and channel that we just set up. And so we're actually ready to push this already. Um, with Conan, all we really need to do is set up a remote ahead of time. And so uh, Conan only has one remote at the moment. 
And uh, we can see that here with Conan Remote Add GitLab, and then we point it at um, the main GitLab repository, which in our case is just gitlab.com. Uh, if you're using a self-managed instance, it would be uh, your domain. I've already added that remote, so I can just start using it um, as we see here. For being able to authenticate against uh, the Conan re registry, um, all we do is we can use that same personal access token and we can supply it as the Conan password environment variable with our command. This can also be set if you add a user um, using the Conan commands, but for the purpose of this demonstration, I'll just do it in line like this. So we're going to use our Conan login username, uh, which is equal to our uh, GitLab username. And then we've got our Conan password, which is going to be our um, personal access token that we've been using. Um, so let's go ahead and grab that again. And we're going to do Conan upload. And we'll upload the, re the recipe we just created. Do all the files and the remote is GitLab. And I've got some verbose logs here. You can see the files are uploading and it looks like it should be successful. Let's take a look. And there is our hello package version 0.1 that we just created. All right, and so you can see the, the benefit here is that we've created a single project that holds packages of various types, various names that the code does not live in this project. It may not even live on GitLab, um, but it, it allows us to put them all in one place. So that way, if we wanted to use these, um, or if we wanted to just have one remote uh, for all of our different projects, you know, company-wide, we could just use this project remote, um, which is unique to this project ID. And so you can set up a private project and put all your private packages there, a public project project for all your public packages, and you can kind of divide them up however uh, works best for you. Um, hopefully this is a helpful feature for you. Um, I thought it was a, a pretty cool way to use our functionality um, and uh, let us know what you think. Thanks for watching.